actually has a PT. He probably knows how to fight PT then. But he also, he also plays PT too. <laughs> I plays too many characters, dude. Yeah. Alright, we're getting into this. And Let's do this. Oh, oh battlefield. Battlefield. battlefield now. Okay. I feel like, personally, for the most part, generally, I, I, this is my, my go to stage versus Greninja if it's not banned. But I, I know MGW thinks that Greninja doesn't have bad stages. He can be played on all stages, everywhere, anywhere. I respect his MGW always like, I'm not approaching. I don't have to do fucking Jack, like, you know? I talked to MGW before his tournament started. He's like, he's like, Nick, there's a thousand dollars in this pot. More than that, actually. Now I'm finding out later. He's not approaching. The battle of the water types here. But definitely with Solcer, he has to bait out MGW like, like going in on him. Because see, there's times where MUW is, you think it's going to camp, but then he goes in and gets a grab or a dash tag. Yeah, that's the mix-up, you know? <laughs> oh, Solcer has to get off Charizard there. Definitely watch definitely playing Squirtle here. Okay. Not, they're, well, really? they're both just playing these footsies, you know? I, they, none of them want to commit. You can definitely tell that both these players have the mentality in their mind that I am not approaching, I want to yeah. win. So don't be surprised if, to go, if this goes close to time or two timeout. Ooh. Yeah, hard. We're gonna live a little longer. Oh, oh back, to back to Squirtle. I'm surprised that, was, that. That was scary because since Solcer swapped the Squirtle, he could not swap out of that dash attack forward air confirm if MGW hit it because of the timer. Ooh, I'm sorry. That was good by Solcer covering himself with a razor leaf. Bring yeah, a down throw. Solcer the eyes out. Oh, that Ooh. was almost sick. Oh, wow, the tag. No. Oh, is that the punish? Oh, Charizard already is dead. All right. And kind of possible. I mean, honestly, he gets him off stage. Maybe a Squirtle Water Gun and an Ivysaur down there, he gets back in the game. That is definitely the, the, the dream for our PT mains. This also has to The discipline neutral. MGW is showing though is pretty awesome. I not mean, MGW here stock, so he's gonna definitely just hit and run versus the versus the Solcer. And and if a character like a ninja that's so slippery, it's gonna work out. Oh, oh that's chicken. Yeah. MGW just gonna chip off of Solcer's now it's interesting because here nice it's you, it's scary to switch to Ivysaur because if you don't get the kill and advantage, you have to play Ivysaur versus Greninja, which is just not like not really wanted. Like, so Solcer's gonna get the, the option where it's low risk, low reward, where you stay on Squirtle and you're not gonna be taking too much damage. That was a great side. Really needs to stalk here, you know. Although I think Solcer needs to start going for like a kill move. I think. Aerials at the ledge will definitely do it. Uppy at the ledge will do it. But Down Smash would have done it, but that's kind of greedy. I definitely think some down tilts at ledge would be really good. Not to cover light ledge hang and ledge jump. MW is just going to jump off the ledge. It's so hard to cover against our ninja. That's going to do it. Scroll back throw. That back throw. But it's still a really good start. And, and we're at 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Like, this there, it is a very, very possible timeout. Yeah. This is crazy. There's a very possible timeout going to happen here. Okay, yeah, I don't... Unless there's like an SD or like a really early kill, I think it's going to time. The way they're both playing it. They both are gunning for this 1k prize. Going to the, this loser's bracket, it's it's tough out here. You have to one, you have to wait a while because you got to wait for all the loser's matches to catch up with this 100 man plus bracket. Two, all the competition who is thirsty to come back from winners is coming in there. So it's scary. You don't want to go to losers here. Yeah. Getting into that top eight will definitely be an accomplishment for anyone that can achieve it. And, oh, the jab block. Is that it? Oh, no, oh he no, misses no. up. Oh, oh, but, but, he, but he gets oh. Oh, yeah. That jab block would have changed it. so much in that game for Solcer. Oh, but that's the Okay, Ivysaur. okay. I was like, this when is Ivy's still coming out? There it yep. is. There it is. Oh, that, okay. That was such a great swap for Solcer. Once you hit that down tilt two frames, Grinja has no jump. And that's such oh. a great. Yeah, and Solcer's going to play Ivy Sword because it's so important to live here. And that, that wave buff knows he lost his lead and he's like, I want this. I want this, this kill now. This wave buff is going to be so important for Solcer. And yeah, he's going to even just go Charizard. He doesn't want to die. He wants to hold his stock for the rest of the game. Oh. Yeah, I like his ideas on the side, baby. Oh, they could be so cool. I don't know about playing Squirrel here. I feel like it would be so good to play Charizard, but I think Solcer... Oh, 
Down there to cover him! And the up there. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's a good choice. Stay, stay start. I, I think Last stay longer, get the extra credit, you know? And it, it, worst case scenario, I die and go, I go to Squirtle. It puts so much stress on MGW for not killing, you know, kill Zarg. Because Zarg could kill so early. <gasps> no! What's the punish here? Let's go. That was not... That was not good. Alright. We got even stocks. Plus two minutes on the clock. This is def this that's waking me up. <laughs> even though it's still uh, gameplay. This is so, like, tight. Like, I love this match so far. Great. You can just see in the player cam too, both these players just like, like so they, focused. They, they, these guys want to win this game. Oh, the space. That's what you were talking about before. Your ninja's gonna space these safe aerials on shields. Yep. Oh, they good that's that's IB. Coming in clutch. I think the real yeah. thing is like, when I'm playing a PT, I want him. I need to do this damage. I need him to switch up Squirtle. I, and this character is so good at these situations, especially. Soul Sword, and oh, there oh, he is. He's Ivysaur. Ivysaur. Now this is interesting because this is a risk, Ivysaur you know. Yeah, like you were match. saying before. But it, I think I feel like I feel like at this point it's better to go Squirtle because not getting hit is more important due to the timer. Maybe these players don't even realize the timer. You ever have oh, that? Forty seconds left. <laughs> there is forty six seconds left. This is just game one. Oh my God! But oh. MG, okay, MGW is is in the zone. He is he is content. I think in Solstice's mind, he's like worst case scenario. I go to Zard and I live longer and we fight. Like I time him out. MGW is looking for these shurikens. He's giving oh. eight damage. Oh my God! Oh, that Zard, swap was so switch. important. He cannot take any more damage. Solstice does not have to rush anything. There's 23 seconds uh -huh. left on the clock. The oh Charizard not having the projectile is just gonna camp him out. Like MGW just hit. Oh, he oh, just oh, Squirtle. Oh. That, oh, that could have been so bad for Solstice. Oh, this, this is good. He, he just got a dodge, he's gonna be slippery, he's a little character, he's, he's a squirrely not, turtle, not like he's gonna run away! Just, just camp on the platforms. Oh my god. Is he gonna get this kill? Oh. Oh, oh he just off stage. <gasps> oh, is it? Wow. Uh, if MGW somehow got that back air there, he would have, that would have won right, the game. And that is the thing with timeouts <laughs> in this game. It's an eight minute clock. Look at this. So. You played that, that eight switch minutes. Right there. Like, save, I've save gone it. through some sets through eight minutes. It's crazy. The amount of mental stamina they probably used during that set and during that match. Now, if it's I was like hard, if you I know? was Solcer, I would have um, fine with up there like how he did, and I was swapped to Zard immediately just to and just stay up there because MGW was already down low. If he didn't time that swap perfectly, MGW could have gotten that back air, yeah. and that that could have been it for Solcer. All that hard work. In that game, gone. And you can tell so much mental energy is being used to, to play these yeah, sets. Yeah, like the stamina. Like I don't know if it goes and another timeout. Like it's so stressful too. Yeah, <gasps> that would be. Uh, I, I would never predict that. All right, let's get into this. Let's let's see what the adjustments are from both sides. Here we have MGW actually. Sorry, being more aggressive, I can tell. Oh, but Solcer's the same. Like, Wait, what, what is going he's on? He's pushing this advantage now. They're. I think maybe the coaches told him like, uh, push your advantage more. Like, you need this lead. But also unrelated to the game, but there's a drone racing contest happening here. <laughs> Shout out to that. Shout out to the drones. Ooh. Oh, is this a free Ivy Sword down there? Oh, oh he, he missed. Oh, oh and the up B that, was, that was good. Now that's such a thing. Like, like when people get barely miss a dare, they they either jump or roll. And and also was coming to jump. Uh, and this, this is so looking good for MGW. Gimor. He has to make this comeback on Squirtle. It's the slippery small Squirtle turtle. Uh, Solzer is turning up. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah. Oh. Are we gonna see this, this classic oh, water gun into Ivysaur? Oh, he was trying to do something oh, fancy. Oh, but now he's on uh, Ivysaur. He and now he's gonna get hit. Oh, but swapping, because uh. you just don't want damage. I understand. Game back on Squirtle, okay. Ooh, yeah. Oh, he I can tell, like, Solter is very comfortable on his Squirtle. Like, he, he trusts it. He trusts his Squirtle. Yeah, and it's interesting because both these players are just playing way more aggressively. I could see this match ending in the next, like, two minutes. Versus a timeout that was last game. Oh, that was scary up here. That was scary indeed. 
here we have. Oh, <laughs> what? That grab? Yeah, I'm sorry, sending this hurt box and that down throw. That was good by Soulstar, not trying to back air shield immediately that forward air. Oh, oh my god, and this is, this is uphill. This is such This a is an uphill battle for MGW. What, what a change of the match. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> oh, oh, but oh. That, that could make a difference. The, the Hydro Pump on the Zard up B. Oh, I was kidding it. Yep. That def okay, not impossible. Not impossible at all. Definitely not, but it do his damage. You give him to Ivysaur, get the dam get the kill? Come on. You definitely can't do what you did last time though, camping, because you're down a stock. Yeah, he can't do the running gun playstyle he had last game. He, he, the hit a run, you're gonna have to really be careful with taking damage. Okay, nice grab. That was actually a solid grab. Oh, is that it? Gonna do it? No way. Yeah, oh my gosh. Good. What wow. a different game than it was. Who saw from Solzer? Mid percent. That was. Great, great stuff to Solzer, honestly. He's in winner's yes. scores now. And I think he's playing pretty good. I mean, we might see way more Solzers today. He, he was playing pretty solid this set, and honestly, I can see MGW making it way further, too. Absolutely. I might see both these turn players again and later on stream. <laughs> okay. And I think that's it for us because we commentated four sets, so we're out of here. Yeah, this is – I'm Gatsby. This is – Okay, of course. And we're representing Westchester and on Encore, and this is such an awesome venue. Thanks for inviting us. We got coaches <laughs> – coaches. We got sets to coach, but we're done here for commentary today. Um, support Brooklyn, and we're on a break. I'm not sure who's next on the mic, but stay tuned for that. <laughs>